Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Koch. State and federal investigators were on scene most of the day trying to figure out if the deadly fire at Edgewood is a case of arson. Flames erupted early Thursday morning. Now, the state fire marshal is looking into code violations, while those who live through the inferno are still dealing with the pain. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live on the scene in Harford County with an emotional interview. Mike? And Denise and Rick, the survivor we spoke to says everything happened so fast, the flames were getting closer, and the final words of two of his roommates who died led him to believe that this is a case of foul play. No one has been charged. The heat was the worst film. That hurt. Four people were on the top floor of this townhouse in Edgewood when fire broke out Thursday, and only one survived. He spoke to WJZ about the terrifying moments. Still traumatized and just out of the hospital, he asked that we only show his cast. At this point, it's all going so fast with the fire, the smoke's coming, everybody's panicking. They're banging on Kimmy's door. She's in there asleep because she takes medication. We couldn't get her up. And and we all panicking, so I, I I got real scared. So I'm on the phone with the police, and I'm trying to get them information. And I'm kicking my AC unit out my window because I couldn't go through my door anymore because the smoke was coming up, the fire was coming up the stairs. So I hanging on the outside trying to hang on. And as I'm feeling the heat, I had to jump because I'm hearing people screaming like and burning, and I didn't want to burn, so I, I had to let go. And when I let go, I fell from the third floor and. Um, I hit the concrete, and as I hit it, my body went numb. Joshua Krause had just moved out of the house a week ago and lived on the top floor as well. He came to rescue his cat from the townhouse. It's really killing me inside, man. They're really good friends of mine. I've been here about three and a half years, and um, I just hope that you know things are going good for them in heaven where they're at. But it's just. It's a whole messed up situation, man. The state fire marshal says there's a criminal investigation underway. Based on some information we had and also based on the information of this possibly being a, you know, an illegal boarding house. It was a house that my landlord would help anybody who needed help in. He would always took his shirt off his back for anyone. And mainly the people who lived here were disabled. I don't want to keep thinking I'm the only one to survive. I really, in my mind, I wanted them to survive too. There were working smoke detectors inside the home, but both the survivor and the former resident tell me they believe someone intentionally set this fire. The investigation is ongoing. Live in Edgewood, Mike Helgren, WJZ.